Right guys, gonna show you the VR workout. I'll, I'll blend these two together because at the moment they ain't gonna make much sense for me because I'm sitting talking to you. Um, but basically I do this boxing workout. I try to do it three times a day, but um, being back in Spain, doing the treadmill um, regularly, and today is my first day back on this. And to be fair, it's Tuesday. Um, I got in at one o'clock in the morning on, what was it, Sunday? So the whole of Saturday was traveling. Then um, Sunday, we went out as well after a long day. Caught up with some sleep after work Monday. So now I'm back into my routine. Um, so I just want to share this and I'll blend the two together so you can actually see what I'm doing here and what I'm doing in the head tip. I'll put them both in the same video. Right. So I'm sure it will look very different to what I see, that's for sure. Uh, let me stick the video on. I'm to turn the volume up in my headset. Record the video. Okay, okay so we're in the headset now. Close this down. Whoops, a bit juddery. Right. So, so this is my workout arena. As you see, I've, I've lost my streak as well now. I've only did my workout yesterday, which was only one because I was knackered. Um, but the key to fitness is actually keeping up with it. Um, so though I've missed a few days, it's actually getting back into the routine. So we'll start off with this one. Here's a tip for when you're striking with the knee. You wanna wait, grab, pull, strike. Now wait for that secondary target. Wait, 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 hit it and listen to the coaching. You will get it. I'm not even sure if half these people are real, you know. I think, well, when I say real, they're obviously avatars, but I'm not sure if half of them are uh, VR, VR um, what do you call it? AI. AI. All right, let's get going because it's your time to get in that light and get that intensity. There we go. There we go. All right, team, let's get into a stance, combat stance. That's your left foot forward, your hands nice and high, left jab. Ready? Now, right cross, left uppercut, right uppercut. So as you can see, the purple on the left, the green on the right. So take your time and aim the center of the fist into the center of the target. It's a little bit of rhythm. Now left hook, right hook. So that's a circular punch, horizontal to the floor. Turn the hip, release the heel as you rotate into the punch. Nice, well done. Okay, a little bit faster, left, right. Good, got a combo going now. Bang, bang, ow, boom, boom. It is going down. All right, we're gonna move the shoulders now. Prepare to slip right and now slip left. That's right, you're in the boxing ring, so you gotta let those punches slip by the side of your face. So roll your shoulders forwards, crunch your core, bend your knees, tuck your chin. Should we try some punches? Left hook, right hook, two slips. Like they're doing the movies. Those sweet little combos. Now it's your turn. Left, right, slip right, left. So you're standing your ground, but you're rolling your shoulders and dodging those strikes. Dodge them. Can you feel it in your core? Inhale, exhale. All right, jab, cross, uppercut. Two hooks, two slips. Big combo. All right, so people, we've just done it. Now we're gonna do it without stopping. Big combo, jab, cross, left, right. Lean in, center of the target. Roll the shoulders under, hips turn, slip, slip. Boom, boom. Pow! Left, right. Are you using your legs? Don't hold your breath, eh? Inhale, exhale. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on. Do it like they do in the movies. All right, squat down, bend your knees, toes out. Stand up, double sky punch. Now you're gonna go up and out, left side, up, out, hammer fist. Hey, so use the little finger on the hammer fist. Like you're stamping the side wall. Hey, nice. Oh yeah. 
Put your right leg forward, put your dukes up. We do it all again. Is this your best side? Right jab. Left cross. Right upper. Left upper. The thing I love about this workout is everything is balanced. What you do on one side, you do on the other. So find that rhythm. Wait for all the targets to come at you at the very last possible moment. And so these hooks, they want to be circular in nature, but strong and powerful in feeling. Are you ready to pick up some pace now? Yep. One and two. Do that again. After you've hit the second target, bring your hands back to a high guard position. We call that the reset. Hit, hit. Now you're slipping to your left. Keep your feet still, slip right. Naturally, you want to move your feet, but keep them. Just plant them, stay in your stance. Trust yourself. Just move the shoulders and your guard out the way. If you feel a little vibrate, that's to tell you that you didn't move your shoulders enough. All right? Try it. Come on, circular. Move your shoulders. See, there wasn't a, there wasn't that little vibrate, eh? Don't let it scare you. Don't worry about that. Come on, let's bring the combo, but let's bring some power. Reach, reach, under, under, circular. Slip, slip, do it again. As you see the target come at you, try and get the end range of your fist. Now, boom. Good, so you're fully extending your strikes, but keeping the elbow soft. On the uppercuts, you're rolling the shoulder, you're coming up and under, and on the hooks, you release and roll into the strike. Power shot, power shot, raw power, raw power, circular, circular, can't catch me, go! Yeah, great, this is really great stuff. Combos are building up, scores building up. Now, squat down, stand up, double sky punch. Beautiful, chest up, brace abs, right side, Right side, good. Double, now you're gonna go left up, left out. This is the finish, hit the blue one, boom! You mastered it, very good. Are you willing to take the next challenge? Let's see. Shorts are coming, Shorts down. Are coming down, must be losing some weight. <laughs> Shoulders a bit stiff today. Boxing is going to be our predominant discipline. We're going to start with our left leg forward and I'm going to support you all the way through. So we've got a left jab and a right cross. Full range, soft elbows, no power, but it does set you up for a jab, cross, jab. Let's go. Left, right, left. Now uppercut, one left, one right on the rhythm. Back, 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 turn, in and up. Short range, vertical strikes, elbows into the rib cage. Full body training. Oh yeah, now we're moving on. Hook left and right, slip right and left. Hook left and right, but this time you've got to squat down. Get out of the way! <laughs> Stand up, sky punch. Back to the slip so your feet stay still, you only move your shoulders. Drop your butt back and down on the squat. Now as you hit the sky punch, try and get the hands directly above the line of the head, and you can actually do that quite fast. That's it, play with it, take your time. And now, jab and cross. We're here for about 25 seconds or so. Tuck your chin. Let's start now hitting the center of the target. We wanna get the heart rate up. Work out in the shoulders, the muscles of the back, the muscles of the core. So let's get a little bit of power now. New move, this is the knee. I love this move. We need to grab with both hands now, pull left knee up. So you're bringing the arms down past the line of the thigh as the knee goes directly up. It's a little bit like the elbows and the knee almost meet. Now you can pull the arms down fairly quickly. Ready, go. Down fast as the knee comes up. Lean away from the strike. We're gonna do all that again on the other side, all right? Shake it off, you've got this. Jab and cross, right and left, go. Cruise, cruise. Now rotate the knuckles in and down so the elbow slightly goes to the outside. That's gonna work more muscles in the upper part of the shoulder and in turn, bring more power. Jab, cross, jab and hold, followed by the two uppercuts. Turn under. Now let's start using hips and legs for the uppercut. So bend the knees and then as the tight comes in and up, start to stand up a little higher. All right, now those power hooks, right and left. Slip left and right. Back to the power hook, and then squat down, stand up with the sky punch. On your own.
feels good, right? Miss this one every now and again. You can almost see yourself a little bit in the shadow wall. Don't forget to smile. I think anytime you smile, <laughs> or is it a grimace? Makes things feel a little bit better, right? Excellent work. All right, jab and crosses now. So because it's a basic move, very simple, all we want to do is now commit to try and get the heart rate up. So tuck your chin, start to hit the center of the target. Come on, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself, hit it harder. You've got it, come on, hit it harder. Awesome. Breathe, here comes the right knee. Put more weight on your back foot to so you help your balance. Lift the chest, pull the arms down. Now brace your abs really hard because you're going to lean away a little bit. That's going to support the spine. So the knee comes directly forward of your hip. That's going to give you great alignment. Awesome work. Now, last part. Wide front stance. Here it comes. Here it comes. Punch it. Hooks. Now, battle rope slams together, together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hook left and right. The battle rope slams, they must start high above the line of the shoulder, and then both hands come down past the outer part of your thighs. So you're bending your knees, you're bracing your abs, and it's like you're trying to slam or throw something down to the ground. Come on, you've got this one. You finished with a power left hook. Great work. Birds catching me there. Birds following me. Here it comes. You're gonna love it. You're gonna start in a left combat stance. We've got some basic combinations. Love the rhythm. We're gonna be starting with some slips to the right, to the left, and then a jab cross hook. Let's go. Slip right, slip left. Now jab cross hook. Repeat that, go. You don't need to move your feet, just move your shoulders. You're gonna brace your abs. Left, right, left on these punches. Release the hip and heel. All right, we're moving on. Squat down, sky punch. Down and up. Down and up. We're gonna be here for a while. You just need to squat down enough so your shoulders get underneath you think that it's a wall. Sensor and as you honest. stand up, drive the punches high above the head. There. It's exactly the same. Lift your chest, brace your abs, and as you squat time, down, imagine you're sitting again, back in a seat. It. So use the muscles of your legs to drive yourself up. Let's go back to the slips, right, left, and the punches. Jab, cross, and hook. Squat down. Whoa, we put it together. I told you we got combos. On the jab, cross, hooks. Next time, you're going to add as much power as possible. I've got another move coming at you. It's a knee. Grab pull knee for left. Grab pull knee for right. Take the shoulders back and brace your abs. That's going to support your lower back. Now reach high. And as the knee comes up, pull your hands really quickly down. That's going to register a big strike. You're going to get more points. You increase power and the heart rate goes up. Slip right, slip left. Let's go. Now hit the center of the tiger like I was saying before. Squat down, stand up, sky punch. Yes! Grab for left knee. Grab for right knee. You get it. You absolutely get it. Now hold on. We're gonna start to build up a little bit of fatigue. You know why? Because we're training, we're exercising. Whilst you feel like you're in this incredible environment, this virtual reality world, you're still here because you want to train, and I'm guessing you want to have a whole heap of fun. Tag Rach, you're in. Getting a sweat on. Ah, oh, damn, nobody normally gets me because I'm so fast, but as soon as you got me, I better get to the mahi. Let's do the work. Combat stance, right foot Shoulders forward. Shoulders tight what here. What you got, people? We're going to start with slip left, slip right, and jab cross hook. Go. Right, left, right. So you've done all these combos before. A bit more familiar. Get some confidence. Plant your feet, squat, damn, sky punch. Next level, yeah, you said it, and now we're gonna get it. So take your feet wider, and that gives you a little bit of a stronger base so to get missed. down. Exactly the same there you routine. Go. Narrow squat, you're gonna have to get lower. Wide squat, it's not quite as far. It's again. Now drive no through the there. heels and push them into the floor as you pump your and hands again. above your head and smash the sky punch. 
All right, slip time. It's combos. Left, right, jab, cross, hook. Squat, sky punch. Oh, did you just smash that target big time? Points. Points be prizes. Well done. Now these knees can be tricky. We're gonna go front knee, back knee. Hold the target, wait for the trail, smash it down. Wait, 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 go! Back knee, wait, 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 go! Front knee, yeah! Pull down, drive it. And then slam them down the side of your thighs. And slam them down the side of your thighs! Bring your heel to your glutes. Squeeze your tummy. Combo. Slip it. Punch it. Squat. Smash it. Oh, hey, there's a tune. Front knee. Oh, hey, back knee. Ah, oh, yeah, these ones are tricky, eh? But practice is going to give us that confidence. And then with confidence, knowing you can smash it means you will. You got this. Come on. You might miss one, but you'll get the next one. Well done. Now get those shoulders rolling forward and back. Smooth. Legs getting tired? Yeah, that's okay. That's normal. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for. Putting the work in. Get in the training out. Back knee. Hey, nice work, team. Getting well a bit done. too far forward there. It's nearly in the TV. Get some sweat off my fingers. There is some serious leg training happening in this workout. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> well, don't worry, it's here. Get ready, big squat. Knees out, toes out. Drive up, do it again. Big deep breaths. We're going down, but we're not gonna let ourselves down. We're gonna fight the resistance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big breath, drive up. Let's go. Left jab, right jab. Left jab. Ooh, some serious beats in here. A bit trancy, eh? Left uppercut, right uppercut. So remember, with the uppercuts, we roll the shoulders forwards and back. And with the jabs, we're gonna go left, right. And we're gonna bring the shoulders forwards. And then the uppercuts, shoulders forwards and back. A little bit of rotation to bring that core activation. Well done, you've got this. Now jab. Left, right. Left, right. Bit of a combo, a little one-two action. Bit of confidence building, nice. Hit the center of the target, roll the knuckle over. Soft elbow, here comes the wall. Get down, knees out, toes out. I'm starting to feel the sweat dripping down my face. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Come up, come up, come up. Good, good, nice. All right, let's change the stance. Let's give ourselves a fighting chance. 230 calories go. Left foot forward. Strong foundation, hands up, hands up, brace the core. Left jab, right cross. Power long into that target. Imagine smashing through that target. Big circles, big points. Turn the core, release the heel, right uppercut. So the uppercut off the back arm. Notice how the hip has to drive from the back to the front of the room. There's some big power, big points. I see a wall, do you? Get down, wide stance. Left sky punch, right slip, right uppercut. We're setting you up for a combo. Get down, drive up, booyah! We're gonna pick up the tempo. It's not so fast, but it's fast enough. Down up. Now slip right, uppercut, and do that uppercut again. So two and two. You know what to do? Find that rhythm. So we're working on rhythm and timing. Leg work. When you move your legs, there's a big cardio response. They're a big muscle group. They really are getting into that heart rate training now. Finding that target, locking on. Nice work. Let's do some more. Two punches. Now we're gonna hit one uppercut and one cross. Here comes the cross. Boom. Through the middle. Now jab, cross. One, two, back to the one, two. Bit looser, a bit more core rotation. Bit more power, baby. Pow, pow. Pew, pew. Flurry time, get down. Hold on. I think Dan's coming through to carry you home. Slowly stand up. 
Check your legs. Wow! We've got to do everything on the right-hand side. Okay, nice deep breaths. You've got this. I know you're still smiling. Put your boxing guard up. Power right jab. Left cross. Now lean into the strike and keep your chin tucked in. Beautiful. Transfer the weight. Forward and back. All right, uppercut off the back arm. We're just maintaining this back arm power. Anything off the back arm is all based on power. Anything off the front arm is speed. They're the two training tips for you for this track. Now we're squatting down. Right sky punch. Beautiful. Slip to your left. Power. Left uppercut. Now pace. Down and up. Down and up. Slip. Power. Beautiful. You can feel it in the rhythm. Now use your breath. So exhale as you strike. Keep looking at these targets. And as you get down, you've got to get the shoulders out of the way. You know you've got to take the hips down so the butt's in line with the back of the knee. Look above your head. Boom, double the punch. Awesome. Uh, Uppercut. Now here comes a power cross. Straight line. Every time you hit the targets, whether above your head, whether it's from the back arm or the front arm, it doesn't matter. Let's hit the front, the center, every single time. The middle of the target, so they absolutely explode. We're going to bring pace to finish. Here it comes. Let's go. Pace, 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 pace. Power shot. Beautiful. Good work. 297 calories burned. That is what we call a perfect score. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Bronze, says Bronze says it wasn't a perfect score as well. <sighs> Got a bit of a sweat on there. Just let the menu load. So as you can see, that's the session. I've got another two sessions today because I've got, I've got to get this to about 900 a day. Um, yeah. So go all five days, 40%. Because I missed Sunday, so I've only got Monday, Tuesday. So I've got, got to do it every day this week. There we go. guys. That was pretty much it. That's, the, uh, that's my VR workout. And as you can see, that's not virtual sweat.